Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here with another new set of videos here we're launching on YouTube. This is our video tip series and this one's for my Network Plus Bulldogs and those of you working on your CCNA 200-301 because you'll see some network time protocol on both of those exams. I want to give you a quick intro to what this series is about and then we're going to jump right in, I promise. As we are getting ready to launch our CCNA materials here in May of 2020, subtle plug here, uh, what I do throughout the day on LinkedIn and Twitter and Facebook is post just quick little CCNA notes and little tips about protocols and services you're going to see on the exams. So what I've decided to start doing is collecting those at the end of the day and then making a quick video so those of you who missed some of these tips, you can catch them all on YouTube. Because if you're new to the Network Time Protocol, you might want to save this video because it's not an in-depth study of it, but it's a couple of tips for those of you who are familiar with NTP. If you're not, then go ahead and make sure to save this particular vid. Now with NTP, our devices are always getting the time from another device. NTP is all about making sure that all of our network devices have their time synchronized. But one thing, and I've got here our network MLS, our multi-layer switch, and that's a symbol for a device, a switch that can run at both layers two and three. If we use a multi-layer switch, if we use a router, whatever we're using, we can't get the time directly from a stratum zero device. Stratum zero is at the top of the NTP hierarchy. And when I show you what one looks like, you may get an idea of why we can't get our router at home <laughs> or at work to get its time directly from a stratum zero device. Uh, this is from Wikipedia. It's the U.S. Naval Observatory alternate master clock at Shriver Air Force Base in Colorado. And it is a stratum zero device for NTP. So again, just a quick reminder that you can't get your network devices or mine to get their time directly from a stratum zero clock. The earliest stratum that you can get time directly from is stratum one. That's a really good thing to know, I think. So the thing is, when we're talking about NTP and we're talking about why we use it, and you're going to be hitting quite a bit of it in your Network Plus and your CCNA studies, it does come down to why is it so important? Why is it important for our network devices to have their time synchronized? There are several reasons, but here's one of them. You could be using what we call a timed access list on the router on the right saying we're going to permit certain things to happen at certain times uh, and not allow them to happen at other times. And one of those would could be Telnet. You know, you could set up your Telnet just to say, you know, and then write a timed ACL that would say, okay, well, I'm going to allow users to Telnet in from Monday to Friday, you know, 9 to 5 Eastern Standard Time. And if you have another router out there that's trying, you're trying to tell it in from that, and that router thinks it's Tuesday, but it's actually Saturday, then you're going to have a huge issue. You won't be able to tell it in. So this is one of the reasons why it is so very important that all the devices in your network have the same time, that the time is indeed synced. Uh, one more note I want to throw in here before we conclude, and actually maybe a little more important than this one, because when I put this tip up, of course, several people were kind enough to say, you know, don't forget the timestamps, and believe me, I wasn't. When you're troubleshooting your network, one of the things you're going to be looking at, you're going to be looking at logs, you're going to be looking at router timestamps, and having been there, this is the voice of experience speaking, and you can hear the pain coming into my voice. It was a long time ago, and it still hurts. When you're trying to troubleshoot a network where the time, for whatever reason, is not synced up, it's a nightmare because you're trying to figure out, you know, did event A happen before event B or after event B? And if one of your routers thinks it's 2003 and the other one thinks it's 2017 or hopefully thinks it's April 24, 2020, which is today, then you're, you're going to have a real problem. And of course, also with digital certificates, that ends up being an issue if, you, uh, if your routers and switches in your network don't have their time synced up. So uh, I could go on for 30 minutes about why it's important, but just trust me for these reasons and others, it is beyond important that you've got your time synchronized throughout your network. And that's what NTP is all about. Thanks for watching today's tip video. Don't forget, while you're right here on YouTube, we've got several new series of Network Plus and CCNA videos going on. Check them out, subscribe while you're here, and I will see you tomorrow with another collection of Network Plus and CCNA video tips.